Yeah, uh, uh, very shy, very quiet, uh, didn't say much. And uh, I know nowadays I feel like I talk a lot more and people still tell me I'm very quiet. So I guess that, that says a lot about the way I was when I was younger. I grew up in Flint, Michigan. Um, had maybe three or four offers to go to colleges, not a whole lot uh, to choose from. Um, the two it came down to were Michigan State, which was only about 45 minutes from my house, Bowling Green, which is about a two-hour drive. Um, I visited both schools. Uh, the deciding factor for me was just the size of the school. Um, Michigan State had about, I think it was over 40,000 students at that time. Bowling Green had about 16,000. I just liked the, the smaller atmosphere. Um, along with the coach and uh, you know Ron Mason who eventually became the winningest college coach uh, in history. Uh, he's been surpassed since then but uh, you know he was an all-time great coach and um, so I just I just liked everything about Bowling Green. Yeah. Well uh, gosh you know that's 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 a tough question. I, I think um, the one thing that I try and tell kids, you know, when I, when I do have the opportunity to speak to them, the one thing that always resonated with me was that success happens when preparation meets opportunity. I think that might have been one of Herb Brooks' favorite sayings. And um, I, 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 th I just think that, you know, for, um, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's something that's short, it's sweet, and, um, it, it basically sums it all up in, in a few words. Right to the point. Yeah. Um, up in Michigan, Traverse City, uh, it's a place that uh, when I, being from Michigan and, and uh, when I was a kid, they call it going up north, which uh, people on the weekends would, people that work in the auto factories would get in their cars head north to the upper part of Michigan where all the lakes are and uh, just great country I guess you'd say um, the beaches and all that so there's a place called Traverse City where my uncle had a uh, place to live right on the lake we go up there we still do to this day um, and it was actually voted uh, the best vacation spot in the country a couple years ago <laughs> yeah so you feel like you're on the ocean you know the beaches along Lake Michigan uh, wineries um, you know all kinds of lake activities small towns uh, I would recommend that to anybody that's in the area <laughs> uh, the um, hospitality room. <laughs> Is that an activity? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was an activity, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, the hospitality room by far. I mean, yeah, that was, you know, not that there weren't other great things, but, um, you know, I, I looked forward to going down there every night. I think there were several guys that did that, but, you know, the one guy that just uh, I admire the way he played the game was Buzzy Snyder. You know, he was our you know one of our veteran leaders. He and Mike, so they were the guys that we kind of looked up to, um, and uh, just the way Buzzy played. You know, he he was just that that high energy, uh, intense uh, player that just never stopped. Never, nothing deterred him, you know, um, from the start of the game to the end of the game. And, um, and then, you know, Buzzy had the knack of scoring big goals, you know. And um, so, yeah, I, I, I think Buzzy would, would be the guy for me. Boy, I've had a few. I was a minus... <laughs> This was an exhibition game, but I was a minus six one night, which if anybody knows about plus minus, you know, when you're a minus six, it means you've been on the ice for six more goals <laughs> for the other team than you have for your own team. Uh, I was a minus six one night in an exhibition game. Uh, this was probably the most embarrassing moment, too, because <laughs> my wife had thrown me a surprise 30th birthday party the night before. And being that it was in training camp and we had an exhibition game against the Rangers the next day, you know, um, I enjoyed myself that night. 
<laughs> and I wasn't supposed to play the next day. So came into our practice rink that the next morning with a, with a good hangover and found out that one of the players had been injured and I was playing that night. And so I got paired up with another player, who uh, a young guy who <laughs> was uh, trying to make the team. And um, we were both collectively minus six that night. <laughs> and uh, he ended up, I think, uh, quitting hockey <laughs> after training camp. <laughs> True story. Uh, no, he had had a, a little bit of a career, I mean, as far as he had played some NHL games and that, but um, he ended up, yeah, uh, a few weeks later uh, deciding that he didn't want to play hockey anymore. Not because of that game, but just you know, the circumstances were, <laughs> were kind of funny. <laughs>